Hey, hey. Yeah. Tell the people who you are, man. Uh, can you guys see me? Like, yeah, we got you. Uh, uh, my name is Jonathan Rice from Oakland, California. Oakland in the house. Yeah, yeah, long, long way. Okay. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I've been out here for, for about a year and a half and um, I'm loving it. I'm an English teacher and I'm also a writer. And um, yeah, enjoying life. Okay, okay. So, uh, what do you think about Spain so far? Uh, Spain is an interesting country. You know this? Yeah. Uh, yeah, Spain is interesting. A lot, a lot different than America. Um, I think one of the blessings here is the whole tradition of the siesta. I think that's a tradition that needs to be adapted. Like, the siesta tradition, man. Yeah, you know, world speak around. To that a little bit, because everybody may not know about the siesta. You know, it's funny. Um, you try to tell a Spanish person, uh, yeah, I, I need to take a nap. And they don't even understand what a nap is. They they know they only know the word like siesta. So siesta is traditionally just a nap. And what's cool about Spain, uh, they adopted a culture around where around I guess um, one o'clock or two o'clock, businesses and um, people usually just go home and they take it's like a nap time um, from two to about four o'clock or five o'clock. And then yeah, you'll just be surprised walking through town. And seeing just everything looks like a ghost. Yeah, like, man, all the, all the shops yeah. shut, shut down. Even yeah. uh, serious businesses like banks. Um, yeah. You know, any any type of business you're trying to do with the government or anything, man, after 2 o'clock, forget about it. Yeah, it's they were that. Happen. They were that. It's, it's like yeah. religion, man. You do not mess with my siesta time. Yeah. Uh, that's the time people bond with their family. Right? True. Even on Sundays, um, you'll, you'll see that everything's sort of like a ghost town. Uh, people... And restaurants, businesses usually close on, on Sundays. So, yeah, just lo- I don't know. It's a weird economy because uh, you, they're losing a lot of money, <laughs> I think, by not opening during those t- those time spots. But, but hey, it's not, it's not really about money. It's not even about work. It's about enjoying life and being leisurely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Man. And so, you know, you know I got to hit you up and ask you this one. Everyone's it's working. like a double microphone. It is. Man. So, uh, <laughs> I don't know what uh, right side or left side. Hey, there's no wrong way to do it. Man. Okay. So uh, you, you don't know, have a, a middle side. How was your experience being a, a person of color in, uh, <laughs> in Spain? Because you know a lot of people who've never been here. You know they're curious. You know, will you be the only one around? Or? Nah. Well, you know, before I met you, man, I thought I was the only black guy on the island, uh, aside from the Africans um, and the Cubanos. Uh, and all the other dark people but yeah um it, being here um it, it's a lot different than my my experience in america and i, I want to say majority of my experiences here have been a lot more positive than my experiences in oakland um yeah right i, I can say a lot of things about my experiences in oakland uh my my uh, incidents with the police uh times where i I've, me and my friends been shot at or people I know have been shot at and all this other bullshit, but I don't I don't see that here. Um, what what I do see and experience a lot is ho- this whole thing about this whole feeling like alienation, um, being looked at like I'm like an alien. Uh, so you kind of feel like the other. At times. Yeah, man. Sometimes it's a novelty. I walk by and people just stop and they're looking at me and staring at me like. Um, Albino or something. May maybe, especially kids and babies. They they just want to like yeah. It's weird. So I want to say it's it's a little bit of a novelty. It's um, sort of a gift and curse. You being looked upon, um, sort of in a in a curious way, um, but at the same time, people view you as different. Um, and I know I know I'm not the same as everyone else. Um, even though we're all humans but yeah i have this constant feeling this constant state of mind that i know i'm I'm different than uh majority or pretty much all the people around me all right yeah i take that so um how about the language barrier because you know this is (laughs) not uh england or uh, yeah anywhere in the uk yeah i love the spanish but i don't know they have uh, they're not that good with English, <laughs> uh, but no, nah, I don't want to generalize anything. But um, y- yeah, for me, it's been a challenge because I, I had to adapt and learn more, more Spanish, uh, basically to survive. I've been lost so many times. 
I've ordered food that I didn't want because I didn't know what I was reading. <laughs> uh, yeah, I paid more than I had to or, you know, all this kind of different BS. But um, you have to adapt because you're in a different country and they speak a foreign language. Yeah, uh, so, uh, you know, everyone's probably wondering, uh, can you speak Spanish? So, you know, give the people a little something. Yo puedo hablar poquito español. Okay. Uh, yeah, yo, yo hablo uh, suficiente uh, okay. español para okay. viajar yeah. and comprar, uh, bailar. Okay, so yeah. then uh, I'm going to have to ask you. Uh, what are you going to ask me? Y las mujeres. Y las, so las mujeres. Spanish. Y las mujeres. See, si, the women. Yeah, the women. What about them? Uh, the women here are beautiful, man. It's like, uh, I don't know what the ratio would be, but it's like almost like 7 out of 10. The seven women you see out of ten are going to look almost like a ten. <laughs> uh, but yeah, the women here are beautiful. I think the only problem you have the cultural and language barrier. But yeah, if you can speak Spanish and you know how to to do the culture, then you you get yeah yeah. Outstanding, man. It is, it is outstanding, man. Any, any last, uh... <laughs> I love Europe. Any last thing you want to add, you know, that maybe the viewers... Have- uh, Europe, um, I mean, there's a lot of... I, there's still racism everywhere you go. Um, I think there's more stereotypes here than anything. Um, but I, I, I love I love Europe. I like their style. They're really leisurely. They, they're forward-thinking. Um, and what I love about the Europeans, they, they, they appreciate life. They appreciate living. Especially the Spaniards, they 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 have this uh, stereotype about partying and drinking all the time, but it's really just about them enjoying life, and taking advantage of uh, living. Word, yeah, man. Well, yeah, like, man. You know, Yo, peace to the black guys, son. You, you inspire <laughs> more cats to come out here. Yeah, man. Uh, what about Black Panther? How did you feel about that? Film? Ah, I think I am I am the only the, uh, no I subtitle. I am the only black person probably oh in the world who has so yet to see Black don't Panther. Oh. There's nothing, I, I just, I don't want to bootleg it, and then I don't want to watch it in Spanish, because I think it's weird listening to Africans. Yeah, nah, don't no, do it, it's wait, weird, wait for that authentic. It's weird watching it's black people play as Africans speaking Spanish. Spanish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. Uh, that's it's not the same. In my mind, man. Yeah, uh, I just want to have, I just want to enjoy a movie. I don't, I don't need that headache. Yeah, man. Okay. I feel like I've been talking a lot. Nah, man. It's and good. also, I don't know if I'm staring at the right part of the screen. Yeah, you're good, man. Okay. <laughs> okay, man. I really like this mic, though. It's, it's trippy. Cool. Yeah, man. Well, uh, everyone watching, if you like the video, please like, comment, subscribe below. And, Do this. Uh, we'll get back at you with some new with stuff, With the button. Man. All right.